will keep fighting and, and won't stop until cancer is gone forever. We will keep fighting and won't stop until cancer is gone forever. Well, it affected me personally. I was diagnosed with breast cancer um, last August and have since undergone chemotherapy and radiation. Uh, when I was three years old, my Uncle Duke was diagnosed with cancer. Like, I lost my grandmother to it when I was little, so I never really got to meet her. I, I keep on wondering what she's like. I'm part of a very fortunate minority of people who has not been directly affected by cancer. Um, I know people who have been through it, and I'm very fortunate that it's not been anyone who's been in my immediate family. Yes, I have been affected by cancer by my grandparents. Um, not in my immediate family, but I have lost a couple of people at very early ages um, due to different forms of cancer. Um, and that, I think, affected me tremendously. Um, just <clears throat> the fact that cancer is so random in who it chooses. And I'm very fortunate that it's not been anyone who's been in my immediate family, but extended family, relatives, um, friends of friends. I have pictures of her when I was little, when I was a baby, and now I wonder what she would be like today if I, she was still alive, and if she would be a cool grandmother. And I remember going to his house, which was really pretty, had a nice white picket fence, and there was like a little playground right inside the picket fence that he built. And I remember him just like, when it, going to his house one day and him picking me up and like swinging me around. And I was little, so that was cool because it like felt like I was flying and he called it Superman and it was cool. And I just remember him always being like really jolly and really happy all the time. And he was just really the happiest guy that was probably ever in my family. I was not alive to know my uncle. Um, well, I mean, like, it was hard because I was only three years old. Like, I have memories of him, and I remember him being around and what he looked like and what he sounded like and everything. Um, I remember that my um, when I ever walked into my grandmother's house, she, he was always sitting in his chair, and he always gave me his little smirk, and I knew that it was going to be a good day. <laughs> I did it because I thought it would be a good way to pay that back to my grandmother. So growing up, I was a part of it every year. And I remember walking the track over at the high school that I'm at now when I was like six. It is such a personal event for everyone who's involved. Um, such a tremendous turnout of support. And it's just something which is really remarkable to see. And I also play in um, hockey tournaments to support um, certain cancer programs in the region. It's just a bunch of fun to go out there and hang out and fight against cancer. Um, you know, two people who are in the prime of their life um, with wives and children who were taken at much too early of an age. My friend's mom has cancer and um, she's actually fighting with it. Ever since he died, my whole family kind of like fell apart because he was holding it all together. I am not the only one who has lost a grandfather or lost an uncle, and I know I'm not the only one who never wants anyone to say that again. A hundred years ago, we started this fight. Now it's time to end it.